And we are back here live on the Dawn Show with psychic Rita Strau. And we want to get right to some of the calls. We have Deanna uh, who's calling. Hi, Deanna. You're on the air live with Dawn and Rita. Hi. Hi, Deanna. Hi, how are you? Okay. Hi. And where are you calling from, Deanna? I'm calling from Deptford, New Jersey. Well, thanks for calling in. Do you have a question for Rita? I do. Um, I recently quit my job and I'm looking for something else and I just kind of wanted some clarity on um, my career. Okay. Okay. All right. Hang on a second. <sighs> Deanna from Deptford has a question about her career and what's next for her. Anything you could give me would be appreciated. Thank you. They're showing me you doing work that actually has to do more with assisting people. It looks like it's almost, um, I want to say healthcare related and um, possibly geriatric work. Older people, okay. helping older people feel, um, you know, um, at, at ease, feeling um, comforted, comforted. I don't know what you're doing. What, what do you do now, Deanna? I actually was a teacher for 12 years. I'm sorry, what? I'm, you know, uh, um, I, w I was actually a teacher a for teacher. 12 years. She's been a teacher for 12 years. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I feel like there's some kind of guidance for you to look into something that's related to helping people in through medical, through some kind of geriatric service, if that has any appeal to you. And again, this is, these are impressions that come to me on the spot here right now. So you have to trust your inner guidance too. But I do see you continuing in a role of some kind of nurturer or someone who brings a feeling of comfort to people. This is weird, it's almost like a theme. But it, it feels like you have this affinity for um, helping people feel loved, <laughs> loved and appreciated. So, um, and they're giving it to me in a, in a nursing home setting or in a setting where you're actually assisting older people who can't do things <clears throat> for themselves, who look to you for support. Does that help, Deanna? Does that speak to you? Okay. Um, <laughs> I, never, I, ne I never really thought about working with older people, but I did apply for a job at a medical school as a, admission, like a counselor. All right. Okay. So. Well, keep us up to date, and even through email, <laughs> and let us know, Deanna, if that works for you. I definitely will. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for calling. You know, let's take another quick break. We have a bunch of calls to get through. We'll take more of your calls and do some readings. We'll be right back. So you're back. Welcome back to The Dawn Show. We're here with Rita Stroud, who's a psychic advisor and talks to angels. And maybe that's something we all need to do more often. Maybe we need to learn to do this. Rita, we have Joelle on the phone now okay. uh, from, from Voorhees, New Jersey. Okay. And Joelle, you're on the air with Rita. What's your question for Rita? Hi, good morning, Rita. I just want to know, I've always questioned, um, who's looking after me? Who, who, are, who are the angels who are constantly over me? Okay. Um, and where are they guiding me toward? Okay. How long have you felt you wanted to know this? For a long time? For a long time, yeah. <laughs> Several years. All right, all right. Hang on one second. Joel from Voorhees wants to know who's guiding him, who's around him. Any help you can give me would be appreciated. Thank you. Archangel Zad Kiel is coming in for you. And um, Zadkiel actually has this ability to give people guidance from a higher perspective, uh, like almost a, a spiritual uh, awareness trainer. <laughs> um, Zadkiel is asking you to wear or give yourself the gift of amethyst, purple, the color purple. Keep purple around you. And Zadkiel is opening your uh, throat chakra and your third eye chakra to receive information from the higher sources. Let me see who else is there, hang on. I think you have a spirit guide. He's coming through with the letter or initial K, and it sounded like K-E-N. I think there's more to his name though, but he's, you can give me Ken, Ken. Um, 
Ken, what is your purpose or mission for Joel, please? He's along for the ride. He's, he's showing me, he's like sweeping up the pieces of where you've been so that you don't have to feel uh, any kind of um, remorse or uh, that feeling of you should have or you could have or why didn't you. He's, he, he actually works along beside you or rather behind you, this spirit guide, to sort of close up and move past things that you feel you might have uh, neglected to do for yourself or opportunities you may have missed. So he comes around to give you the advice that everything you've ever done has been okay. You didn't make any mistakes and he's there to kind of clean up the debris behind you. So you don't need to worry that you've made a mess or that things are a mess or that you're leaving something undone. Whatever you feel you might have missed in the past, he's taking complete care of that. But Zadkiel's pulling him forward. Does that speak to you, Joel? Does that speak? It does. <laughs> Thank you so much it for does. calling That's in, Joelle. Awesome. Thank you so much for calling See, in. See, what I do is a little different than your typical psychic. It's, um, you know, where some psychics will just get a yes, no answer to things or they'll be able to get a quick impression. I get sort of like a bigger swath of what's going on and it's, it's sometimes difficult to condense it down into something quick, but I, I like the way he asked who's around him, who's guiding him. Yeah. So that's a good question. It's empowering and healing. <laughs> you know, we have so many calls and so we need to have a, a part two with you, Rita. Thank you so much uh, oh, for coming thank in. You. I, I appreciate it. Next time we'll do a, a more on the cards. Thank Absolutely. you so much for coming thank in. Thank you, Dawn. It was a pleasure. And I, and I hope uh, Rita and her angels are speaking to you today. So make it a great one. See you here tomorrow on The Dawn Show.